read we had seen introduction and the greeting of people then uh, etiquette then overcoming barriers to effective communication okay now today i'm going to start a new topic etiquette at workplace so it is easy so so you can easily understand that etiquette formal manners and rules etiquette means formal manners and rules that are followed in social and professional settings okay that is which one etiquette so etiquette at a workplace okay so that for that it is necessary for communication and for for, uh, for working style also we need etiquette okay so uh, what is the etiquette means suppose if you are dealing with the customer means we have to suppose if they are asking any service you have to listen the end their message then you have to uh, which one uh, you have to decide what they want okay so uh, then you have to create a impression on the uh, opposite party you have to make a first impression okay on the uh, which one uh, people you, uh, to whom you are talking okay that is means good manners means good business good manners means good business that is uh, which one etiquette at a workplace you have to listen the entire message whatever the superiors are telling that you have to listen subordinates are telling that you have to listen a good listening can solve a lot of problem then you address everything manners only your uniform talks a lot about your organization first impressions are made within 5 minutes of the meeting someone so some people have the uh, which one ability capacity skill uh, to uh, make impression on the other people so that we have to make so if you are dealing with uh, if you are uh, working in a organizations okay so when you are meeting anyone you have to make a best impression on other people next a neat clean and well ironed uniform is acceptable and appreciated by one and at all times okay well dressed neat clean well ironed okay so through that way uh, which one we can attract the people and uh, it will make a best impression to the other people so that is etiquette at a workplace uh, then uh, it is related to that point only business introduction in business introduction rank and position take precedence over age and gender okay age and uh, gender means suppose um, i am working in uh, which one uh, sbi bank okay, as a uh, which one a clerk but now so new uh, new manager appointed in uh, our bank new manager appointed in our bank uh, that is which one suppose basil is appointed as the managing uh, managing director of that sb suppose if any client uh, comes to our bank suppose i want to introduce uh, which one my manager so what will do i have to tell so his name also his position also i have to mention to show respect to the md to show respect to the basil so i have to mention the post also okay so here means rank and position takes precedence over age and gender so age we are not considering okay age suppose a basal age is 60 uh, uh, 60 that i have no need to consider okay position we have to consider post okay that is uh, related to introduction method business introduction so okay so next one uh, the right hand shake that is uh, uh, which one universally accepted way of greeting people and introducing oneself in the business world okay so if you want to so if you meet a people means give the uh, which one handshake right handshake it should be a warm palm to palm handshake lasting about 3 4 seconds not for 5 uh, minutes that is another uh, handshake only okay that is no need okay so it is a universally accepted way of greeting people which one uh, the right handshake 
so you 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 know this one so you can do more push in this uh, matter okay so heading with more international push okay next one so no need to explain that uh, how to greet uh, somebody please have a seat thank you for agreeing to meet with me he will be right with you can i offer you something to drink my pleasure hello sir how are you hello may i speak to may i speak to mr malik so this is a example of uh, which one greet somebody next uh, topic after etiquettes grooming grooming okay suppose uh, in etiquettes if example if you, uh, if i did uh, if uh, we did any mistake means uh, we have to uh, which one we are next uh, grooming so suppose uh, i already said if uh, we did any mistake means we have to request the superiors sorry excuse me what okay i beg your pardon so like that then request you have to make next one grooming so what do you mean by grooming means prepares for a particular purpose what do you mean by grooming grooming describes basic personal hygiene as well as the process that prepares employees for a specific position within a company that is called grooming that is called grooming so grooming describes basic personal hygiene as well as the process that prepares employees for specific position within a company so that is grooming means uh, there are two type of grooming is there personal grooming and uh, organizational grooming means personal grooming is focused on appearance but the organizational grooming is based on behavior okay so both the type of grooming are necessary to succeed in work environment okay that is grooming so it describes basic personal hygiene basic personal hygiene means uh, uh, practice of cleaning that that is that is also that is a grooming it describes basic personal hygiene as well as the process that prepares employees for a specific position within a company so there are two type of grooming personal grooming and organizational grooming so what do you mean by personal grooming so personal grooming in say it refers to the art which helps individuals to clean and maintain their body parts that is personal grooming okay it refers to the art which helps individuals to clean and maintain their body parts otherwise it refers to the cleaning and maintaining each and every uh, body part for pleasing appearance 
for pleasing appearance that is personal grooming that is personal grooming so means uh, we want uh, we want like to talk with uh, someone who is a uh, which one dirty dresser okay the which one who is not taking care of personal hygiene so that is which one uh, personal grooming okay so personal grooming means cleaning and the maintaining uh, which one each and every uh, body part for placing appearance that is called a personal grooming so here you look uh, it is a taking care of your body in hygienic manner that is which one personal grooming means example uh, brushing your teeth combing your hair okay uh, trimming your nails shaving wearing clean clothing showering is an important for person's health that is called that is personal grooming that is called personal grooming then in that clothing is clothing style is an extension of of your attitude okay clothing style okay clothing style is an extension of your uh, which one your attitude so if it is a well groomed people wear clothes that are ironed fit and are not torn okay well groomed people they will wear the uh, which one cloth that are ironed fit and are not torn okay then uh, uh, their pockets should be uh, preferably empty some people we can see that uh, every item will be in the pocket snacks okay purse everything okay so uh, it is not uh, to look uh, awkward so that is uh, important so the personal grooming is important to avoid the spread of germs in the workplace okay that's why it is very important the personal grooming so it refers to the cleaning and maintaining each and every body part okay for a pleasing appearance for a pleasing appearance under that uh, clothing style is very important to uh, judge your attitude next one organizational grooming organizational grooming so same only for that purpose uh, which one uh, personal grooming also needed means here means how uh, one is prepared to uh, for a position in a workplace that is organizational grooming so it means here means it include demonstrate work appropriate behavior here we said that uh, organizational grooming is based on behavior so it will demonstrate work appropriate behavior so means uh, include positive attitude use of good manners good manners smiling okay making eye contact listening and discussing rather than arguing okay so uh, these are the uh, work appropriate behavior that is which one organizational grooming organizational grooming means grooming individuals for a job that is a part of which one organizational grooming okay so means here means managers groom employees how to do their job more efficiently and skillfully that is what uh, organizational grooming okay so uh, here uh, personal grooming also include because every organization have their own dress code uniform okay so that uh, that we have to wear that is a part of organizational grooming okay so here means demonstrating work appropriate behavior work appropriate behavior that is called uh, which one uh, use of positive attitude use of good manners smiling okay then uh, listening the ndr message if example if superiors are issuing any orders instructions means we have to listen the ndr message if the subordinates are telling any message that you have to listen rather than arguing that is which one uh, which one organizational grooming suppose in the banking activity so suppose if any customers are coming to the bank so uh, you have to wish good morning uh, can i help you okay uh, which one uh, do you want any assistance uh, what are you looking for so so through that way uh, we have to do more things in under organization means work appropriate behavior that is under uh, organizational grooming so next one framing of framing of questions and complete the sentences framing of questions and complete the sentences framing of questions and complete the sentences okay so before so first i said uh, greeting at workplace good manners means good uh, 
uh, business so it is very important ethic it is very important for communication and if i'm in working styles so you have to create a first impression within five minutes of meeting someone okay so that is ethiquette at the workplace in business introduction so here uh, if we are introducing anyone means we have to uh, tell their position also it will give more preference over their age and uh, gender then uh, handshake is the universally accepted means of greeting uh, people and introducing oneself in the business world next one uh, grooming so grooming means describe the basic personal hygiene as well as the process that prepares employees for specific position within a company so grooming the, the, the there are two type of grooming personal grooming it is based on appearance then organization grooming it is based on behavior so personal grooming is said it refers to the art which helps individual to clean and to maintain their body parts means cleaning and maintaining each and every body part for a pleasing appearance okay so that is personal grooming next organizational grooming means uh, which are prepares employees for a job okay um, managers groom employees how to do their job more efficiently and skillfully but the, so it includes uh, demonstrating uh, work appropriate behavior good conduct good manners okay positive attitude okay uh, optimism optimistic so that you have to follow under organizational grooming next uh, framing of questions and complete the sentences so you are studying english okay so it is very easy for you so means uh, we know that the interrogative nouns uh interrogative uh, pronouns like uh, who who's whom what which then interrogative adverbs where when why and how are used to frame questions so these are the answer and after that they given the questions how to frame the question so these are john's frame question which will elicit the elicit the following answers these are john's book so question is whose books are these okay whose books are these so answer is these are john's books then i want a pen i want a pen what do you want okay what do you want then uh, answer is i want a pen so on the basis of answer you have to frame the question we will stay with our cousins so whom will you stay with okay answer is we will stay with our cousin then i am going with my aunt uh, whom are you going with okay next why did you it is best first you have to uh, tell the question then it will be easy then uh, why did you go there uh, i went there to meet james so question you have to frame which is your which is your boy which my boy is the one in red shirt okay then uh, i met him last week i met him last week where did you uh, meet him where did you meet him when did you meet him when did you meet him next uh, this bridge is 50 feet long 50 feet long then how long is this bridge next one uh, my father is 60 years old okay uh, how old is your father next the 10th one i have two brothers and sisters i have two brothers and two sisters how many brothers and sisters do you have next mr matthew is our headmaster then who is your headmaster next last we came to this place 5 years ago when did you come to this place okay these are the uh, thing example of framing questions and complete the sentences here answer is given on that basis you have to find the uh, which one questions so to that for that purpose but we have to use uh, interrogative pronoun pronouns and the interrogative adverbs okay. already you know okay next one dealing with the customers in banking environment dealing with the customers in banking environment only three more topic is there
two more topics. After that, this chapter will be over. One period or two period is now. Okay, so it is uh, dealing with customers in banking environment. How to deal with the customer? Okay, so already we studied a lot of tips how to deal with the customer manners. Okay, grooming everything we studied. So here, how to deal with the customers in banking environment? So customer. Uh, service representative, uh, they have to ensure that you have the all the information to deal with the customer. Okay, so for example, if you have any doubt related to any topic, so you can tell that uh, which one can I get back to you? Okay, after some times, uh, then I will tell within five minutes, I will give the information means within five minutes, you have to give after asking uh, the doubt, he will clear doubt to the uh, which one customer. So, so he have to suppose if he don't know uh, the procedure of dealing with the customer, he have to look the which one standard operating procedure SOP, standard operating procedure of the bank, standard operating procedure of the bank. Under this, lot of instructions are there related to how to deal with the customers. Okay, so that he have to look. Okay, but uh, but he he then also he if he didn't find any information some information so that information he have to ask uh, his superior his superior okay uh, about that matter then he have to get the information then he have to deal with the customers okay anyway we have to follow the standard operating procedure of the bank so according to that basis which one they have to deal with the customer how to deal with the customer okay so a lot of procedures are there uh, some strategies for making a good impression while dealing with the customer so these are the strategies to make a good impression while dealing with the customer So we will study. So 10 point when you greet people in person for the first time, what we'll do? When you meet people who don't tell your name, then what you will do? Okay, when you greet people in person for the first time, what you will do? When you meet people who don't tell your name, what you will do? What you will, how you will deal? When someone introduces you and it does not someone introduces you and it does not include your name then what you will do when you are not introduced then uh, what you will do then uh, when you meet with a group of people you don't know that people and in that case how you deal then when you meet with a group of people you do know you know then uh, how you will deal then when you meet with a group of people when you meet with a group of people, someone know and someone you don't know. So in that case, how you deal, then when you greet a receptionist. So in that case, what is your, uh, what do you have to do? Then uh, last practice, practice the above things. So, so these are the things you have to study under dealing with customers in banking environment. Okay. So here we are discussing uh, to deal with the customers also deal with the other people also in banking environment, not only with the customer to other people. Suppose any meeting is there, banking meeting. So if you want to go outside in that time, if you meet any people, otherwise with uh, our colleagues, any dealings is there, that is also uh, included in uh, this heading, dealing with the customers in banking environment. Okay. 
So So next period I will discuss. Okay. So next period when? Thank you.